So, oh, I've been invited by Noel, Pastor Noel here, because she's going to be giving a very special testimony about her grandmother and how God used her grandmother to grow her faith. And I think one of the reasons she invited me here today is that in my newest book, Love is Kind, Little Owl, and I usually bring an owl puppet with me, but I think you guys are too old for the owl puppet anyway, so he stayed home. I realized halfway here that I didn't have him. <laughs> um, but Little Owl has a very special relationship with his Grammy, he calls her, and he wants to show his Grammy how much he loves her, and he decides that the best way to do that is to buy her a heart-shaped box of chocolates, because who doesn't like chocolate? but it's gonna be harder than he thinks to get those chocolates. And in the process, he's gonna learn something important about love and his faith. Are you ready for me to read it? So it's Love is Kind, and it's illustrated by Lison Chaperon, who's a French illustrator, and she did a beautiful job. Little Owl jingled the coins in his pocket. It was Grammy's birthday, and finally, he had enough money to buy her something special a heart-shaped box of chocolates. He took out the coins so shiny and new and ready to spend, but then, oh no, come back. The coins rolled down until wobble, ping, they landed right by Beaver's dam. Beaver cheered, mommy, you were wrong. The tooth fairy came after all and she brought me three silver coins. Wait, little owl hollered, those are mine. But then he stopped. Beaver looked so happy. Wow, Beaver, you're lucky. Have a toothrific day, said little owl. His gift for Grammy would have to wait. And in the illustrations, there's something that's been woven into the very illustration. Can you see what it says in the illustration? Love is patient. Look for these throughout and see if you recognize them. And the grown-ups, too, see if you recognize them. As he headed back home, something caught Little Owl's eye. Money! Now I can buy that heart-shaped box of chocolates after all. How much did he see there? One dollar, thank you. That's when he saw the sign. Missing. One dollar. If found return to Mrs. Mouse. Little Owl's feathers quivered. He really wanted those chocolates for Grammy, but he did not want to buy them with Mrs. Mouse's money. Ding dong, I think this is yours. Mrs. Mouse clapped her paws. Oh, thank you, now I can get the nursery ready. Mr. Mouse and I are expecting babies. Little Owl smiled. That's wonderful news. Congratulations. And what does it say above the stove? Love is kind. Love rejoices in the truth. Little Owl shuffled on until thump! He bumped into Rabbit. Rabbit had three heart-shaped boxes of chocolates. For Ma! For Pa and for me, Rabbit sang. Little Owl's feathers stood on end. You have three? That's not fair! Little Owl stopped. Getting angry wouldn't get Grammy those chocolates. Little Owl took a deep breath. That's nice, Rabbit. Enjoy your candy. Thanks, said Rabbit. Then off she hopped. And in the flower, it says, love does not envy. You can read it with me. It is not easily angered. It does not dishonor others. Do you recognize these snippets? They're from a favorite. You recognize them? Yay! First Corinthians 13, a wonderful passage on love. Little Owl's heart felt empty. So much for getting Grammy something special. And I love how even the flowers look sad here. Rabbit hopped back. Then Rabbit hopped back and handed Little Owl a coupon. So you can get some too. 
Good for one box of Chipmunk's famous chocolates. Owl flipped. I'm getting Grammy chocolates. I'm getting Grammy chocolates. And he danced through the meadow all the way to Chipmunk's chocolate shop. And we read together what it says in the rainbow. Love is not self-seeking. It always hopes. But, that's never good when a sentence begins with but. But, just as he rounded the corner, he spotted Chipmunk holding a sign that said, closed. Little Owl gasped. Are you closing for the day? Sure am, Chipmunk chattered. I need to make more chocolates for the morning. Little Owl gulped. I understand. Have a good night. Little Owl had nothing to give Grammy for her birthday. Nothing but a crinkled coupon. And then whoosh, the wind snatched even that away. Empty winged, little owl slumped all the way to Grammy's. Why so glum, asked Grammy. Little owl tried to hold back the tears. Then he told Grammy all about beaver and Mrs. Mouse and rabbit and chipmunk's chocolate shop. Grammy smiled. Little owl, you spread love everywhere you went today. That's better than any heart-shaped box of chocolates. Little Owl's feathers twitched. Really? Can you see what is written in the, she's making delicious looking dessert. And what does it say here on the counter? Love never gives up. Love never fails. Little Owl looked at his reflection in Grammy's picture window and giggled. Well, it's not chocolate, but I guess I did give you a heart-shaped gift after all. Look at his face. Me! And that is the best gift of all, said Grammy. So that is the story of Little Owl. And what did Little Owl learn? Who was, what was the gift? Who was the gift? Yes. The gift was love. The gift was love, right. And the gift was him when he was sharing love and kindness all along the way. And that's better than any heart-shaped <clears throat> box of chocolates. <clears throat> And I have news for you. Just, oh, you, you changed it up there. Okay, before there was like a little, did you notice when you came in there was a little heart-shaped hand? So you guys are the gift. Can you make this heart? I know. You might feel a little silly, but if I can do it, you can do it. So, well, now you're really not going to like this. And then can you look through them? <laughs> this is looking at the world through God's, with God's love, through faith-filled eyes. And Grammy helped Little Owl to see his, his day in a new way. He was able to see his day through God's eyes and that when he was sharing love with others, that was really God's love flowing through him to others. And that's really what I hope that you'll take away from the story. Can we pray? And then we have a special activity for you guys. So pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for these children. I pray that like Little Owl, they will open their hearts and let your great love flow through them to others. And I pray also for us grown-ups here who love these children very much that you would give us open hearts and eyes to notice and make the most of teachable God moments that we discover throughout our day that can point out faith in action. And we can point it out when we see it in our kids and in ourselves so that we may all grow in our love for God and so that his love and his love for us and that it would overflow through us to others. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And we have a couple of activities in the back for you that are perfect tie-ins. Your church is going on a mission trip to Haiti and there are backpacks back there that you're going to be filling with things to take to the children there. It was just a very concrete, beautiful way to share his love. And then there's also, when you finish that, another activity to think about what you can do to share love in your community, in our community here with your family and friends. So thank you.